Welcome everyone to Discover This. Well, today we're at Petco Park, home of the San Diego Padres. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the greatest hitters in the history of baseball, Mr. Tony Gwynn. And we're gonna go around San Diego County and show you some places where there's been some memorials and places you can go visit and remember Tony Gwynn and just remember what he was all about. So let's do it. Those of you that are familiar with Petco Park, you possibly know that the official address for Petco Park is 19 Tony Gwynn Drive, cross of Trevor Hoffman, of course, but Tony Gwynn Drive. Now, for those of you who've been to Petco Park before, uh, you know that behind the outfield and behind the scoreboard is a place called Gallagher Square. And during the games, you can you can sit back here and uh, watch the game on the big screen over there, or play a little pickleball, or there's a wiffle ball uh, field for the little ones. But you can just kick back here and watch a game. And when there is no Padre game and there is no concert or some other event, uh, this is a city park and it's open to the public, sunrise to sunset, and you can come here and check it out. And within Gallagher Square, we have this Tony Gwynn statue. And this is one of the first memorials that was put up around San Diego. Tony Gwynn was known as Mr. Padre. He spent all 20 years of his baseball career with the San Diego Padres. And within Gallagher Square, we happen to be standing on Tony Gwynn Terrace. And they've kind of reconfigured this. If you've been here before, uh, They've moved this statue a little bit and put it up on this uh, on this deck. It's a nice little place you can come and hang out, either during the game or when there's not a game. And if you can see down there, the, one of the things they did when they reconfigured this, they moved the Tony Gwynn statue so it almost looks like the Trevor Hoffman statue down there is pitching to Tony Gwynn. If you can see that. And then directly underneath us on this deck, directly underneath the statue of Tony Gwynn, uh, there's another little area you're going to want to investigate, so let's go check that out. And they've developed this whole new area with more stats and... That's the man himself. And I've always felt that And these people have basically watched me, you know, my whole career. So how about a uh, couple bits of trivia for you, if you will. 
So Tony Gwynn faced four of the best pitchers in baseball during his career. Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, Greg Maddox, and Pedro Martinez for a combined total of 323 times, according to Yahoo Sports. And he only had three strikeouts. Glavin got him twice, and Smoltz got him once. In addition, Kurt Schilling struck out Tony Gwynn twice in 43 at-bats throughout his career. Now, what pitcher struck out Tony Gwynn the most times? Well, that would be Nolan Ryan with nine strikeouts. And then here's that wiffle ball court I was telling you about that the uh, young ones can come and play on either during the game or when the park's open. And you notice the uh, what the outfield number is. That's another Tony Gwynn reference, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know during the 1995 season, Tony Gwynn didn't strike out for 39 straight games? How about a couple bits of trivia? Tony Gwynn had only one three strikeout game in his 20 year career. And the pitcher for that, for nine and two thirds innings of that game was Bob Welch. Tony Gwynn won five gold glove awards and seven silver slugger awards and was a 15 time all-star. So a new addition to the Tony Gwynn Tributes is here in the eastern part of downtown San Diego where Highway 94 dumps into downtown and Highway 94, which is where these cars are coming from, turns into F Street. And right here at F Street and 16th it's a brand new Tony Gwynn mural, or brand new as of the filming of this video anyway. So... Very nice tribute. But there's lots more, but if you can come down here, 16th and F, and check this out. So many of you probably know that in 2014, the Gwynn family and Alesmith Brewing partnered up and created a beer called 394 Pale Ale. And 394 being Tony Gwynn's highest career batting average from the 1994 season, I believe. But in addition to that, uh, if you come out here to the Alesmith Brewing uh, Brewery and Tap Room, uh, they also have a Tony Gwynn Museum that was put together with the help of Tony Gwynn's wife, Alicia Gwynn. So we're going to go check that out. So coming in, you can uh, get all your swag. Shirts, hats, whatever you need. They got it. And then you got the tap room, so you can get your tastings in if you want. Get your 394 pale ale. And then after you've had a few, you can also do some ax throwing. It's a nice 
Nice setup. So the Tony Gwynn Museum is in this uh, this room here. And again, this museum is curated by Tony Gwynn's wife, Alicia Gwynn. We're now at Herbert Hoover High School in the city of San Diego. And for those of you that know your Ted Williams history, you know that Ted Williams went to high school here and played baseball here and then moved on to be one of the best hitters in baseball history. But back in uh, 2022, the powers that be at the school here commissioned a mural. And we're gonna go check that mural out. Number 11, the third baseman. And it's down here on the side of the gymnasium, facing the baseball field. Now in later life, Tony Gwynn and Ted Williams became good friends. 
but the reason they the school put both of them up here was because they both represent a source of inspiration so that's very nice right right next to the baseball field Now, if you get to the area of University Avenue and Marlboro, on one of the corners, there's a boxing gym. It's called Undisputed Gym. It's actually gonna be on the southeast corner, I believe it is. And if you walk along the side of the building, along Marlboro, and you head towards the back of the building where the small parking lot is for the gym, for the boxing gym, and you get into that parking lot, you'll see this great mural of Tony Gwynn. Quite stunning. It's got the great mustache going. And you can see the, uh, the artist who put this mural together. Um, these folks actually do a number of murals around San Diego. Uh, Many of them sports related, but not all of them sports related, but they're, they're very good at what they do. They have, a, they have a great talent. But anyway, University in Marlboro in the City Heights area of San Diego, you can come and check out this mural, take a few photos. Now, as most of you probably know, Tony Gwynn attended San Diego State University, where he excelled in both baseball and basketball. And during Tony Gwynn's time, the basketball team played at Peterson Gym. Nowadays they have a brand new arena. They're not so new really anymore, but uh, a big arena they play in. But Peterson Gym is where Tony Gwynn played during his time here. And not sure if it's open today or not, but we're going to go check it out. Well, the building is open, but the gym itself is not open, so we can't see the uh, the gym floor where Tony Gwynn played his games, basketball games. But to this day, no player at San Diego State University has eclipsed Tony Gwynn's record of 221 assists in a season or his 590 assists in his college career. Now, one specific day, March 7th, 1981, Tony Gwynn posted 16 points and 16 assists during a basketball game against New Mexico. Then on March 9th, 1981, just two days later, he recorded five RBIs during seven at-bats in a baseball doubleheader. And he would basically race from the basketball floor to the baseball field to uh, do his workouts with the two sports. Tony Gwynn posted a 423 batting average for his 1980 SDSU baseball season. And in the 1981 season, he joined the baseball team 16 games into the season and still posted 11 homers, 62 RBIs, and 18 stolen bases in 52 games that season. He ended the 1981 season with a 416 batting average. So as we cruise the hallway of Peterson Gym, there was a date in the history of Tony Gwynn that he probably remembered for the rest of his life. And that date is June 9th, 1981. Big day in his life. You see, on that day, the NBA draft happened and Tony Gwynn was drafted in the 10th round by the San Diego Clippers basketball team. Now also on that day was the Major League Baseball draft and he was drafted third or in the third round by the San Diego Padres. Tony said baseball is his sport but he hated to give up basketball but we all know he chose the Padres. Tony Gwynn signed with the San Diego Padres eight days after that draft. 
in the rest, ladies and gentlemen, is history. And as many of you know, after retiring from professional baseball after 20 years in the major leagues with the San Diego Padres, Tony Gwynn became the head baseball coach at San Diego State University. And he was their head baseball coach from 2003 until 2014 when he passed away. You can see just some of the honors. And this is the entrance to the home locker room for the Aztecs, San Diego State Aztecs. And while Tony Gwynn was the head coach here, John Moores, the owner of the Padres, put some money into the Aztec Stadium, basically refurbished it, made a better seating area, better locker rooms, playing field, scoreboard. And it's actually a very nice stadium. Great place to see a ball game. But the Aztecs are still playing here. And they still honor Tony Gwynn. And when John Moores was done with his refurbishment, he christened this new stadium, Tony Gwynn Stadium. Quite an honor. And Tony Gwynn was the head coach here, playing in a stadium with his name on it. And John Moores refurbished the seating area and the playing field. And we have TG for Tony Gwynn, still on the field there. And we have Tony Gwynn Stadium on the outfield fence underneath the batter's eye. Very nice. Gave them a new scoreboard. Tony Gwynn and his family lived in the city of Poway for many years, many, many years. And he was part of the community and people would see him at the gas station and Home Depot and the grocery store, just one of the neighbors. But this was his community, the city of Poway being uh, in San Diego County, just, just a tad north of the city of San Diego, if you're not familiar. And we're here at Poway Lake, or Lake Poway, because this is another place where they've put a Tony Gwynn Memorial that you can come and check out. So this is the statue at Lake Poway dedicated to Tony Gwynn. Again, a, uh, Tony and his family, residents of Poway. And all this stuff frees on this and you can, you can pause it and read it if you want. But I want to uh, make note of this one paragraph here. You know, Tony Gwynn and his family would come up here to Lake Poway. And he would fish, his kids would play sports. Uh, but he was always willing to take a picture and, and, and all that, um, no matter where he was. He had that great smile.
Now behind this statue there used to be a baseball field, uh, you know, youth sports, uh, baseball. But uh, they've put these storage tanks in there now, so it's no longer used as a baseball field, unfortunately. Now, Tony Gwynn had 19 consecutive seasons with a batting average of 300 or better. And that's second only to Ty Cobb, who had 23. If you want more stats, Tony Gwynn struck out 188 times in the decade of the 1990s. By comparison, Shohei Otani struck out 189 times in just the 2021 season. Tony Gwynn was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2007 on the first ballot. Tony Gwynn battled cancer for the last number of years of his life and intermittently he had to take leave from his coaching duties at San Diego State for the treatment or some of the complications from that cancer. And on the evening of June 15th, 2014, Tony Gwynn suffered cardiac arrest at his home here in Poway and he was taken by ambulance to Pomerata Hospital also in the city of Poway. And the next day on June 16th, 2014, Tony Gwynn passed away. And the coroner ruled it was because of the complications from cancer. Now there was a public memorial service for Tony Gwynn and it was held at Petco Park on June 26th, 2014. And over 23,000 fans attended, along with a number of dignitaries and other baseball greats who came to pay tribute to the man, the player, that was Tony Gwynn. And we have some photos from that, from that memorial at Petco Park. And Tony Gwynn is laid to rest here at Dearborn Memorial Park here in the city of Poway. And Tony Gwynn is laid to rest here inside Dearborn Memorial Park. It says Anthony Keith Gwynn, Mr. Padre, May 9th, 1960 to June 16th, 2014. Beloved family man, community member, and sportsman. Too well loved to ever be forgotten. And that's all true. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn. Thank you for being a great ambassador to the sport of baseball and a great citizen of this country. In October of 2015, a stretch of Interstate 15 from Scripps Poway Parkway to Camino del Norte was designated Tony Gwynn Memorial Freeway. And you can see the proclamation at the Tony Gwynn Museum at Ale Smith Brewery. And as an added bonus, the Tony Gwynn Memorial Freeway actually ties into the Ted Williams Parkway at the north end near Camino del Norte. Quite fitting. Now there's one other thing. Two days before Tony Gwynn died, he told his wife, Alicia, don't let the people forget about me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that can happen. Not only do we have all these memorials and memories, we have his stats, we have video, we have interviews and just everything. We can't forget about Tony Gwynn, nor do we want to. So that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this tribute to Tony Gwynn and his career and his life. And visiting some of the memorials you can check out here in San Diego County. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. And we got lots more coming. And we will see you next time on Discover This.